the role is a lot like um, being having to be aware of nerf balls flying at you um, at, at random times. So if we get straight into it, I've got four dot points already on the challenger side and what I found, um, the diff challenges in positioning yourself as a data scientist are that number one, it really is an unknown value and that's because of how new data science is and the data scientist's role. People don't really know whether it's that good for them, what value it's going to bring or whether it's what they need um, to help them um, achieve their new projects or studies. There's no clear definition of what a data scientist does as well and that's due to the new, um, it being so new of a role and, and such a, a, a new term being used that um, people sort of don't really know, they scratch their head when they when you talk about data science and um, the data scientist role. There's also no formal qualifications out there that I've seen. There are a few starting to come along and I can talk to you more about those um, as in, in consecutive videos, but really there's no science degree majoring in data science or there's no IT course um, that, that concentrates on data science and um, that's part of why I'm doing these videos. And the fourth one is the past experiences. It's hard to find people who've been in the role of a data scientist and can say, yep, this is what I did, this is how I helped and, um, and this is what's involved in a data scientist. So if you want to position yourself, go out and do this. Again, it's what I'm putting together in this video and um, we'll just be going through it. The second point that I want to talk about is my story. How I evolved essentially to become a data scientist. And I went through a number of um, different learning skills that I think all came together to establish myself as a data scientist. First point is that we've got the scientific programming skills that um, brought me the agile development methodology and um, as well as the project management side of things and uh, also the data management side of things in a scientific sense that was um, really helpful bringing in those three elements where you needed to meet the client's needs and my clients were scientific researchers so we had a very different um, approach in terms of getting the software done. It had to be really agile, had to give them a product that, so they could play with really quickly. And um, some cases that these products we were building were on a one-off basis, so you really just needed to get in and get the job done. Second, I moved sort of into people management where I sort of went up the ranks and became a project manager and um, gave had a team, small team under me and needed to work with the team and get motivate the team and get the most out of that team setting as well as um, integrating back to the researchers who were asking me to develop these tools, these research scientific tools to help them get their uh, jobs done. The fourth is the business management. I sort of applied into business management and got the, from that a real sense of value analysis and presenting the value of what we're doing back to the clients and also for yourself so that you can be motivated yourself, know that you're 
purpose in doing it is in line with what you want to do as well as in line with what needs to be done by the larger team and essentially what the world needs in terms of um, solutions for um, major problems like the information overload and the data deluge and, and these are the reasons why the data science is coming through as, as a critical role or a highly, highly sought role. I'll talk more about those in consecutive videos as well and um, the last point I've got is visualization and that is sort of the t key that ties it all together visualizing what needs to be done representation of the data in a format that the end user is going to really understand and say yep that's the picture I was looking for and they can then make sure or make a decision based on that so the visualization sort of ties all of it together and um, gives that end product at the end so that when you walk away uh, everyone has the knowledge from moving through this process in a nice concise visualization <laughs> So on to the third point here and it is about the solution framework that I've come up to which is how you can position yourself as a data scientist and what we've got is the number one is to find a discipline that you are passionate about and um, I can't stress enough that word passion really makes the difference so much I'm going to underline that with red because that is the key to um, how I sort of position myself if, um, if there's one point it's all about having a passion and knowing your purpose and wanting to go for that uh, purpose and, and um, being passionate about what you do and there's so many uh, aspects you can bring this to I use the word discipline but it may not be discipline it may be business idea or your research or um, anything really that, that you have a, a feel that this is what you want to do in life. Because we have a commonality of data here, there are so many options that you can run with as being a data scientist. The second point is simply to increase your knowledge and you can do that by doing a course or reading books or looking at videos, online courses or um, any way you think that um, you can gain some knowledge on your major discipline. The second is experience. So it's um, very valuable to go out there and, and uh, gain some real experience or build some tools or um, go through the motions that you would be doing if you were uh, a, a data scientist and you can do this in your own time beforehand or you can ideally get paid to do it and um, set yourself up to learn as you go. Now social networking is the third um, sort of sub point of number two increase social networking and that's just about getting out there and meeting people in your discipline or the area you're wanting to position yourself as a data scientist and uh, just getting your name out there. The third step is to contact them and um, contact the experts and um, just tell them that you are passionate about this subject, you're interested in this new field data science and um, you're willing to help and um, that's essentially what I did. I just went out and said, look, I, I, I've got these skills, boom, boom, boom. At the time, I didn't really say it was data science, but I said, I, I think I can help you. And um, said, can, can I sort of help you in any way? And I got into a number of different research studies and um, it's, been, it's been great for, it's been a win-win situation ever since. What I have to stress is that you need number four here and, and deliver the results. And what I mean by delivering results is really creating massive value for the research team or the project or the area that you're working in. 
and um, there are ways you can you can just make sure that you're on track, you're on target, and the value that you're creating is essentially what people want. And um, I've got more information about that value creation and, and um, creating massive value as well in videos to come as well. So my last point here is common mistakes and things to look out for as you're positioning or wanting to position yourself as a data scientist. And the number one, and I've written these three and I'll get to the four one to make to put some more emphasis on it and I'll get to that soon. But I've written these three as in the positive light, so it's got a positive frame around it. Um, but the, the mistake is the, the opposite of what I'm saying here. So, but you need to be prepared to uh, give an overview of data science because um, it is such a new role. People are going to most likely not really know what data science is about. So if you can have that ready and know yourself what data science is and what the data scientists provide, then um, you're going to avoid that one mistake. Second is to be a facilitator. Um, so rather than coming in saying, oh, I, I'm the data scientist, I want to um, help, I'm oh, sorry, I want to take control because this is a thing that um, I've come across is that there may be some resistance where the project team or your study or the people you're looking to sort of get in with is um, might see you as a more controlling role rather than facilitating. So watch out for that and just go in and say, I'm here to support, I'm here to help, um, these are the, the tools I can bring, I can bring you program management, um, programming skills, people skills and uh, data management and say I'm not here to take over, not in these words but to say, to emphasize that you're just here to support. There's some um, great tools and tips I've got for that as well in uh, coming in coming videos. Third point is really to be courageous and don't have that mindset that um, nothing is too large or, or, or cannot be achieved with um, if you come down to the fact that this is an area you want to come into and, and, and you are passionate about it, then go for it. And I've seen I mean, in myself in areas where I just haven't been courageous enough to go for it, but once I come over that um, feeling myself and be courageous and do it, and it's really taken me where I want to be. The fourth point that I'm going to write up in red last one and I'm writing it as a negative sense and uh, with, um, it's my major point really. Don't panic whether you're looking to position yourself as a data scientist or you're new in the role of data scientist. Um, it comes down to look at the situation and look if you can uh, think up some solutions with a clear mind without panicking. There's going to be well, there has been for me many times where this is urgent, this is critical, this is this needs to happen. Um, and in most cases, they do. But if you can approach them without um, the impact of panicking, it uh, makes your job a lot easier. brings us to the end, which um, I'm going to say what's next, and um, essentially what I'm developing up in next videos and videos to come, there should be a page, uh, sorry, a, a spot on this page for you to put your name and email address if you're interested in more. I'm going to be providing some more data scientist guides, um, they're going to cover ooh, <laughs> things like agile development. <laughs> Uh, team management, business value analysis, um, data management, which has a number of substances. I just wrote three just to, um, these seem to be hot topics at the moment. Visualization, storage access and sharing data, 
in uh, statistics and logic, um, as well as in many other topics about data science.